Welcome back, friends. It's time for a rave review. Hey, guess what, guys? I might have found my very first show to make my top 10 list of the year. I love this show. It's called Jury Duty. It's so simple, yet so amazing. The show, the premise is cool. Basically, it's a feel-good prank show, okay? So, like, like, think about punked, but they take it to a whole new level. Okay, here's, let me just explain it a little bit. The whole thing on this Jury Duty is staged. The case... The judge, the jurors, everybody is an actor except for one person. This guy right here who has no idea he's being pranked and being called for jury duty. And it's a huge case. He thinks he applied for jury duty, like he's going, and they're going to shoot a documentary on the judicial process. So he's going there thinking, oh, it would be cool to serve a jury and be interviewed with my other jurors about the process of jury duty. Um, guys, it is like the heartwarming show of the year. My new hero is Ronald Gladden, the lead guy. He, he is amazing. Just here, take a look at this trailer. You are now the jury in the matter of Hillgrove versus Morris. When they say jury of your peers, I think that's accurate. I mean, how long does this normally take if you've done this before? You. I'm a recognizable public figure. Respectfully, I don't recognize you. Juror number 54. I'm so happy to be here. I'm going to be upset if I don't get on the jury. Me? Ready, guys? Here we go. All right, so this is what happened. Allegedly. Try to keep an eye on I want to do the best job that I can. What do people usually say when they're trying to get out of this? I'm only going off of thinking they're seeing on family guys. Wait, what was it? We see Peter pretends to be racist to get out of jury duty. Would you be able to be a good juror for this matter? Sir. I'm, I'm a racist. Sir. Please have a seat. I don't know why I said that. Yeah. Eliminate that yeah. for the next time. Totally. Yeah. That's a stupid idea. The jury duty. Sorry for the paparazzi. This is a problem. You're sequestered. I googled it. It's isolated. Isolated. It's separated. This is literally feels like reality TV. Oh. Guys, I can't sing the praises of the show enough. Guys, James Marsden is in it. I got to meet him at Critics' Choice. He plays himself, a heightened version of himself, and he tries to get out of jury by claiming jury duty by claiming he's a star. The judge doesn't recognize him like you saw. The, here's, what, here's what's great about it. All these jurors are such great characters. I want spinoffs now of these characters. Hilarious. And by the way, if you saw that, from the... The, the producers of The Office. So you kind of get an idea about what the show is going to be. Amazing characters. You've got to wait for the final episode. I'm not kidding you. I'm getting emotional thinking about it. The final episode is so good. I was crying on my couch. I was laughing. I was crying. Ronald Gladden, I love him so much. Okay, there's two episodes available this Friday on Amazon Freebie. Just go to Amazon Prime if you have it. Then there'll be new episodes through April 21st. I'm going to talk more about this show in a minute with Maddie, but I, one of my top ten already of the year. It is such a feel-good, fun show, and he got pranked so good. It's just, it's just a great show, guys. And it's heartwarming, and it's uplifting, and it's for everybody. Okay, I'm going to move on quickly now to uh, the Apple TV Plus hit musical Schmigadoon is back for season two, but this time it's Schmicago. Yeah, Schmicago, you heard that right. So this time... Season two is darker, it's sleeker, it's Chicago, based on those, you know, those musicals of the 60s and 70s like Chicago and Pippin and Hair that were kind of like controversial at the time. So season two is out today and it spoofs that whole new generation of musicals as our lead characters, Josh and Melissa, they struggle in the real world, so they long to go back to Schmigadoon and wind up they can't go back to Schmigadoon. Once you've been there, you have to go to Chicago. Take a look at this. Chicago? Welcome to Chicago. This is very different. Now our heroes enter the city of Chicago. Who is he talking to? Uh, at one point, a lot of musicals had narrators. Sorry, go ahead. Really? Do I have your permission? Uh oh, he's peppery. Guys, I like the show. I loved season one. Season two, I got my screener and watched it. It's a little bit darker, and I don't know, the storyline isn't as 
I don't, believable? Is, they're in a musical. It can't be really believable. But uh, by the way, two episodes are out today, and the new episodes will be out every Wednesday through May 3rd on Apple TV+. Plus. If you love musicals, if you love Broadway, you're going to love this all-star Broadway cast making cameos in this. Um, really super good. Okay, I'm going to move on to the next show that I wasn't going to watch at all until I saw another critic talking about it because I was under the impression it was a game show. It's called The Big Door Prize, okay? I thought this was a game show, so I'm like, well, that's weird. I'll get to that later. It's actually not a game show. It is basically what I call an inspirational sci-fi show. Is that a thing, inspirational sci-fi? It stars the amazing Chris O'Dowd. It's where this mystery, like, machine ends up in a drugstore, and it tells you your life's potential. So let's say you're, you know, a school teacher. It could tell you what you should have been or what your life potential was. So basically... It uh, takes the whole town, turns it upside down with finding out what you could have been. And if you're going to take the next step to become that, it changes relationships. It's actually really inspiring, and I love it. Take a look at this. Good morning. Hello. Nice school there, birthday boy. Has that always been there? That thing will tell you your life's potential. Where'd you get it? No idea. It just appeared like magic. It's not like I really believe there's a magical machine that can tell people what they're capable of. <laughs> but literally everyone is trying it. So they got together a week ago and now they're married. That's fun. Maybe everything is not quite as it seems. That is deep. I think I have everything I ever wanted. Maybe you didn't want enough. This machine, magic or not, is reminding people. Our lives have more than one possible path. You're going to decide your own life potential. What about you, Mr. Hubbard? What are you going to be? So quickly, each episode focuses on a different character in this town, the struggle with their life and their relationships. Um, it's really good. Episode one is about Chris's story. You know, they're each named for the characters. Episodes, uh, three episodes are out now, a new one every Wednesday starting today through May 17th. I want to bring Maddie back in because I love jury duty so much. I don't want to, like, oversell it and sing it, but you have a connection to the show, kind of. I do. Uh, James Martson is my fiancé. Ah! <gasps> I wish. No, I'm kidding. I love you, babe. I did not uh, see my, that coming. My actual fiance uh, did work as an assistant editor on this show back in, uh, was it last year, I think, for a few months? When he was telling me the premise, I'm like, you're speaking gibberish. I don't understand the concept. And then as he was, as each you know day would go on, he's helping edit and whatnot. He's like, oh my God, this is a brilliant show. And as you were raving and reviewing, it is a brilliant show. So I'm really so excited. Good. I just saw some behind the scenes things, like I was just in passing. So I'm really excited to see how it all comes together and how they keep him from ever knowing By it's the way, not real. The best part about it is the final episode, you get to see everything. This the the big reveal, talking everything behind the scenes. They walk him through everything that he had no idea was going on. That's and it gives me goosebumps because it's just it's inspirational. It's heartwarming. Yes. You're going to love this guy, by the way, and you'll love James Marsden, too. So <laughs> there we go. Yes. All right, don't go there. More fun right after this. That comes out Friday. You have to watch. I know. I'm Everybody, seriously. I actually think that... Um...